Doug Kalunian here with Mastering Your Well-Being. Today is day number 34 of my Entre Nation 90-Day Awesome Life Challenge. And today I'd like to talk about adding to your financial well-being by selling your stockpile of items in your house or garage that you no longer use and are finally ready to part with. So let's let go of them and make some money. This is an opportunity that's not likely to make you rich. That is, unless you have a rare, unique item that you just don't want to keep anymore. Look around the house, go through the garage, the attic, and old boxes that have been stored in the back of your linen closet or in the back of your dresser drawers. It's time to let someone else enjoy your old smartphones, tablets, laptops, CDs, DVDs, books, stamp and coin collections, and even some of grandma's antiques that you no longer have space for. You might find that you can make some decent money by selling these things while you're getting rid of the clutter in your house. One of the things we all love about technology is that every year or so, new features are developed that are exciting and that can make our lives better, if not easier. That's awesome, right? What's not so awesome is that means that the phones, laptops, computers, and even our watches quickly become outdated. But even though you might not want last year's item, others will, and they're ready for a great deal since even though they might not be as exciting to you, they still have value, and there's likely someone who'll want it and want to buy it from you. According to one company's review, most people have around $200 of tech items in their possession. Old smartphones usually have the most value, but old laptops and smart speakers can also bring in some decent money. Some direct ways to sell are through Facebook Marketplace, Swappa, and LetGo, but these often require some back and forth negotiating with the buyer. And if your buyer isn't local, you might have to deal with packaging and shipping the items, decreasing what you'll net from the deal. There are several companies who will buy your electronics, including smartwatches, laptops, digital cameras, and even old fitness trackers and other electronics. They often pay you through either PayPal or by sending you a gift card. There are also some trade-in programs for old tech items. Some of these companies might even accept broken items, as long as they're still in working order, but don't expect to get a premier price. And if you have a stamp or coin collection that's gathering dust, and you're ready to have someone else enjoy it and further build on it, there are some well-established companies established in the 1920s and 1940s that are major buyers of collections, or even single items. You can also turn to auction houses where the company takes a percentage of the profits, but will sell to coin and stamp specialists. Needless to say, there are many options of items that you can sell and many places to consider selling them. As always, do your research and have fun. Now, as you know, the videos of Mastering Your Well-Being are for educational and entertainment purposes. My presentation of a strategy or company is not meant in any way to be a recommendation since I'm not a business or financial advisor or consultant and I am not familiar with your personal situation. But I thought I would share some possible opportunities for people to explore further before getting started to assess whether the program is reputable and a good fit for them. As always, I encourage you to share your thoughts and share your stories. And please let me know what you think of today's video in the comment section. If you're watching on YouTube and would like to hear more, please click the subscribe button. I appreciate any comments and support that you'd like to send my way. Thanks for listening. Have a great day.